Hi everyone, Liz here. Thank you for stopping by. So today we have an unbagging and this one is from AliExpress and it's from a couple of different shops on AliExpress. Uh, I've been using my coins again, albeit they have now changed the way they do the coins um, and they're not as easy to find the diamond paintings. Um, they're hidden a little bit more and uh, yeah, I'm stacking up coins again. But I've spent some of them and I've got these from three paintings. Yep. So, I've opened the bags ready. I've not looked at the paintings yet, but we'll have a look and we'll see what we've got. Okay, you know me, I do like a bargain. I don't want to show you my address. So, these, I think, are from Huacan mainly. Um, it's a long while since I've had one from them, so let's tip these out of the bag. Okay. Right, yep, that's everything out of the bag. And we have drills that are already in little Ziploc bags, which is, yay, excellent. It's already kitted itself up. We have, let's bump it to toolkit. Um, it's a couple of points up from a basic toolkit. This has got quite a bit more in it. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. We've got... That's, uh, does it say on it? No, it doesn't say on it. <laughs> it's a four placer. So we've got a four placer. And that doesn't say on it as well. Is that a ten? Yep, and a ten. So we've got a four and a ten placer. And they're the white ones which are the thinner ones, which are apparently are easier to use. Uh, I am still getting to grips with multi-placing. I think I'm just going to be a single placer girl, if I'm honest. But never say never. Uh, we've got the sort of the cheaper, just metal tweezers. Um, they were okay for jobs around the house. I've not used them for diamond painting, but uh, they're okay. They're not, they're not the best, but they're okay. Um, a nice big chunk of wax and it's the red wax and then a flat bottomed boat and I think uh, this one only has oh heck this one only has the uh, ridges going up to there quite often the flat bottomed ones have the ridges going further up so you can get more drills in the line but I do tend to only use the smaller white boats for specials and things like that but that's a really good toolkit and if you're just starting out that's a brilliant toolkit okay that's that one. That's the drill. So let's have a look at this canvas. It's a double sided tape. Let me get the scissors. This one is a square drill as well. So square drill and double sided tape. My nemesis. I will keep trying. Get this off. Let's get this cellar tape off here. Oops. Okay, just peel that without causing any damage. And let's just gently unroll this. It's come on a foam roller. Like a standard Huacan type canvas with your key code all down this side here. We have 35 colours. And I'm looking here, look on this small thing, trying to read it. And it says in big letters there, 35. <laughs> okay, let's flatten you out a little bit. I can feel a great big bubble there. I hope that's... Oops, there's something on the desk. Let's move it. Okay, it's not one piece of double-sided tape either. So let's see. this side first okay just peel this back gently and oh, that's, that's pretty good actually 
I was first, at first I thought oh, they're rivers but uh, they're not it's just the lighter coloured <laughs> drills oh dear let's just pull this back so you can see the image as you can see she's a very very glamorous lady uh, not something I would usually go for but she did catch my eye and I did think she was quite pretty so I thought we'll have a look at her and so it's in two pieces I hate it when they cover sheets in two pieces because you find that you get a ridge right the way along where the paper joined and if it doesn't join exactly it can be quite difficult um, but it's come from a cross stitch pattern because we've got our squashed flies there and there <laughs> if you've watched my previous videos when I first uh, saw these parts on a canvas I thought ooh there's a dead bug on my canvas and it's got squashed because uh, my eyesight is not brilliant and then when I looked at it closer you can actually see that uh, yeah it is the markings where if you're doing cross stitch that's where you, you sort of guidelines are your markings are I don't do cross stitch I've not done cross stitch so I don't know exactly but yeah I was pointed out um, I'll buy another YouTuber on a video and I thought oh that's what it is <laughs> so I know now but I will forever refer to them as squashed flies. Okay, so let's just flatten this one down. There's definitely something on this desk here. Yeah, there is. There's a little bead there. It was just getting underneath the canvas. Okay. Once you've got these unrolled, it is better not to roll them back up. So I understand. Um because it can cause more rivers and bubbles if you do get rivers and bubbles that's where because this is like an extra like a, a cellar tape or um, a sticky tape that's put on top of the canvas then it can lift and where it lifts it tends to gather together or stretch or you tend to get say an air pocket an air bubble underneath it um and that can then because it's not sticking to the canvas it can then make your drills pop because the canvas isn't sticking to the sticky and then when you're putting the drill on there's like an air bubble or whatever between this, the canvas um, and your drill and it's just, just not very good but if you use um, a craft knife or a pair of scissors or even your sharp tweezers you can get those marks out but it, it can be quite difficult sometimes um, and it's better to try and avoid it if you can so let's just put this down hopefully yeah, it's not quite meeting. And then I'm just going to take this edge up here. Now then that, as you can see, the double-sided tape there is coming up with the cover sheet there. That's how you can tell if you've got a double-sided tape. If you had poured glue, because it's like a liquid that's been poured onto the canvas and then it sets on the canvas, it's not sort of like a separate entity as such. It's not... A separate layer and um, it just fits onto the canvas but this as I've started pulling that up the uh, the glue from the sticky did start coming up with it the tape did start coming up so it's something to try and avoid as well okay let's just peel that back there and flatten it down and then just get this corner and again, just take it across there, try not to rip it. Oops, it's been an awkward one at this side. And then just flatten down. Okay, so she's very pretty. It's a definite one. I think with my coupons, I paid, what did I say, three pounds. We find it on my, in my log. I have them all written down somewhere. Three pounds twenty-eight this uh, fashionable lady cost she's in like a, a lacy top there and uh, a lovely big hat okay so that's the lady as i said 35 colors um looks like reasonably clear symbols and letters they're all the fairly standard huacan ones um i'm not going to go through all the drills uh, I will, once I've completed it, let you see it. Um, as you can see, we've got some lovely pinks and fawns and browns. It's going to be quite a bright colour, this one. Um, I will, once I've stopped filming, I will check off the 
drills and make sure I have got them all. But uh, yeah, so that's my lady. So I'll put that one out the way. I'll have a look at the next one. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. And uh, this one, oh yeah, this one's again a different one for me. And I think this one is who I can as well, is it? Let me just double check. Oh no, this one is an Evershine. Okay, so this one's from Evershine. Again, we're a square and it's all bagged up already. Can you see all the different muted colours there? It's all greys and blacks and a little bit of white. Okay, and toolkit. Coming out, coming out. Okay. Okay, so the toolkit, strangely enough, looks um, pretty identical, other than the wax is a bit smaller to the hook cam one. So we've got a four placer, a ten placer, the same tweezers, and the same pen. Hmm, okay. Oh no, we have got the same wax look. So it's an identical toolkit to the hook cam, only. This time from Evershine, we've got one of the little love bracelets, which are really, really pretty. I do like those. Okay, so this one is a black and white zebra. You can see that. Try not to get the glare on it. Oops. There. Okay. So let's get this one opened and have a look at the canvas. This cellar tape off. Oops. Okay, and again, it used coupons for this one. And it cost me this one cost me one pound and eighty seven pence. And it's a thirty by forty. And I'm going to set squared glue, squared glue. <laughs> oh dear, it's a double sided tip. <laughs> With, oh dear, square drills. What I was thinking of then, I think I must have been thinking of, um, I don't know, my brain's just not working. So this one has, again, two pieces of the cover on it on the double sided tape 21 colours and they're all greys, blacks and then that white another drill underneath there that's escaped so let's have a quick look at this picture if you look at the back actually on the canvas and then you can see the edges have got a bit creased as it's come through the post but everything else seems pretty clear it's come through in pretty good condition I've done a couple of Evershines before, I've been quite happy with them, so we'll see how we go. Okay, let's try and get this one up. Just peel it back slowly so we don't cause any problems. Has that one got a... Yeah, we've just got a slight raise there. And it's just got a bit of a crease there. Okay, this is going to take some doing and with it being all blacks and whites and uh, squares and double-sided tape now look there i've started to pull up the double-sided tape <sighs> that's not good that's not good yeah you see there look it started to come up with the cover sheet that's my fault but not brilliant that i think it must be because it's so warm here today it is really really oh this is in three bits that means we're likely to get three nasty bits this might be the one that i decide to take that double-sided tape is coming up again with the sheet there let's see if we can get it at the edge that's better yeah it started coming up there again it must be the heat because i've not had this happen before with um, an ever shine one but yeah so that's your canvas that is really really clear that's lovely that's going to be really cute when it's done. But I may take this double-sided tape off this canvas and cover it 
with um, Craft Buddies Magic Glue and Craft Buddies Magic Glue then turns it into a poured glue canvas. I might do that with this one because I do want to do this one. I do love the image. And if you've watched some of my previous videos, um, way back, I think I told you the story of where I got bitten by a zebra. <laughs> Um, yeah, we were at like um, a wildlife park and there were some zebras there and you could feed them and I was stroking it and talking to it and I obviously wasn't feeding it fast enough and I turned around to talk to my friend and it bit my hand. It decided it wanted some more food and I wasn't taking any notice of it, so it bit me. <laughs> so that's my claim to fame. I have been bitten by a zebra. <laughs> Not this zebra, I hasten to add, ask, uh, add. They are very, very beautiful animals. I do love them. So let's put these down. So that may be another project I will do. But I'm definitely going to do that. And that might be this one because I've already got problems at this corner. That has come up now. I'm never going to be able to flatten that out. As you can see now, that tape is all rucked up there. And I'm never going to be able to flatten that out. Uh, so I would have to do something with that anyway. So yeah, I think this may be coming off and we may have a go at making our own poured glue. But if I do it, I will do it on camera so we can have a laugh together while I try to do something I've not done before. <laughs> if you're going to do something, why not share it on YouTube and let everybody have a laugh at you while you're doing it. <laughs> Just flatten those ends out as well. So yeah, so that's the zebra from Evershine. Um, I'm not going to go through all the colours, but I think you can see we're well, more or less 21 dark greys, light greys, and there's a little bit of burgundy there, and a few paler greys, and looks like a little bit of like creamy white there as well. So that's canvas number two, and then finally. Canvas number three is a hula pan again, and this is a Christmas one. Yay! So we can finally start unleashing Christmas. Oh, and this hula pan one. Oh, that's different. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Is it supposed to be a skull, do you think? That's uh, a bit strange. that then okay what's that then uh answers on a postcard please i don't know what that is can't work that one out it's definitely not a heart so that's a different bracelet i've got there i hear her hmm. i'll have to have a look at that one closer and see what that one is and then the toolkit, identical again. So we've got the big piece of wax, um, the same tweezers, four placer uh, and a ten placer and your same pen. So yeah, I'm getting a good stock of those. Okay, this one is a little bit smaller. Let's have a look. And this one cost me £3.35. This one's got 30 colours and it is 25 by 25. Oh, it's a little square one. Oh, it's a little dinky doodle. Okay. On the foam roller again. Oh, we didn't measure the others, did we? I'll have to go back and measure them. And that's just peeling back a little bit. Oh, and it's a little Christmas hedgehog. It's just, uh, is this one big piece? I hope so. So that we've only got one little bit at the edge. Yes, there he is. There's your little Christmas hedgehog. OK, 
Okay, don't take this off fully because it's an awful to try and get back on if you take it off fully. But uh, yeah, and he's got his pile of pancakes and his jam rope look like strawberry jam. The hedgehog's like strawberry jam, I dread to think. But yeah, so I thought that was quite sweet. That looks very dark, so I'm hoping it's going to look better um, once it's been done. But we have got a river that's running. I don't know if you can, you know, you can't catch that in the light where the tape has been joined there we have got a river running across there but i should be able to get that out just by scoring it and flattening it down so just put those down at this side okay and let's have a look at this side here oops okay do, 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 do. yeah we just flatten down again That's the little thumbnail. Um, I was thinking about doing him for the Christmas card for my little granddaughter because she likes hedgehogs. Last Christmas she wanted a hedgehog for Christmas. So she can have this one instead. <laughs> uh, we've just got the key code on, on one side. I don't find it bizarre having this great big piece flapping here. I have started cutting that off before I start working on my canvas. I can't be doing with flappy bits. don't like flappy bits. Not quite sure why that's there. Sometimes you do get an extra key code at the other side on that bit. Um, I've seen on sort of the double-sided tape canvases, but who we can don't seem to put them on that side. Um, and it's just flapping and it just gets on my nerves. Can't be doing with it. So I cut it off. <laughs> okay. Um, symbols look fairly standard. You've got your DMC codes there. Got um, all your drills there again i'm not going to open them this one again is a square so we've got plenty of squares there so that's good yeah, lots of nice colors okay let me just quickly measure this one then and then we'll measure the others okay and somebody just came to the door would you believe but fortunately hubby was already up and about so he's seen to it but yeah so there's definitely a button in here that as soon as I start filming, somebody starts cutting the grass and somebody comes to the door. <laughs> we just need the phone ring to, to ring now and then we've had a full set. So this one is, yeah, that is 25 that way. I'm measuring the drill field. I can just see it underneath the cover sheet there by just slightly under 25. So you do tend to find that um, a double-sided tip will be true to size so we'll measure oops the zebra i think hubby's cross he just slammed the door uh we'll measure the zebra he is 30 oh that's interesting 38, roughly 38, 39 centimetres, so a little bit short on this one, but uh, not the three centimetres that you lose when you do a double set of poured glue. And yeah, 29 that way. So we've lost a centimetre each way on that one, on the ever shallow one. And then on the whole again, let's see again, you can just see it through there. Row, yeah, about 29, uh, sorry, 39 that way by 29 that way. So they're just a little bit short, um, but nothing to speak of. You know, it's, it is what it is. Okay, so that's our three canvases. We have quite a selection, a little hedgehog, a little zebra and a posh lady. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you've got any questions, if you pop them in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed seeing these, if you press the like button, it just gives me a boost with YouTube, give a thumbs up. And if you want to see what I get up to next and get these completed, then if you press subscribe, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. Thanks for stopping by. See you all again soon. Bye for now.